And as for those PPP loans, one group in Kansas City found a flaw, negatively impacting some entrepreneurs in our region. In tonight's Rebound Kansas City report, Charlie Keegan explains the new grant available to small businesses on Kansas City's east side. Gives you happiness. Jason Pratt loves showing off a good stereo system. And while the sound waves blew me away, the owner of Parkway Audio was shocked when I told him there's a small business grant program specifically for the east side of Kansas City. Unless you have someone that knows how to navigate through the system, it's almost impossible to try to get those types of loans. He tried to get a PPP loan but couldn't get through. The Kauffman Foundation analyzed PPP loans in Kansas City. Of the recipients who listed their race, the majority were white. Businesses led by people of color have had historically had challenges. Jeff Jolly has a piece of the solution. He runs the Kansas City Office of Local Initiative Support Corporation. It is collecting applications this week to hand out $500,000 in grants to predominantly black-owned businesses. The money comes from a special tax in the boundary from 9th to Gregory and the Paseo to Indiana. Small businesses in the same boundary are eligible to apply for the grant. It's residents sales tax dollars being reinvested in their neighborhood. With a Black Lives Matter mural on his business, Pratt knows how important black owned businesses are. He's thankful for a leg up during hard times. If they're willing to help a small business like me out, I'd be more than happy to do what it takes to get it taken care of. Time is of the essence for Pratt and these 600 or so other small business owners in this district boundary. They have until Thursday at 5 p.m. to apply for this grant funding. We have a link to that application up on our website, KSHB.com. I'm Charlie Keegan reporting in Kansas City for 41 Action News.